Three days, Grand Canyon. Day two takes me to the north side of the canyon floor, where I learn that there's more to this place than you can see from the room. What's going on and good morning. Day two in the canyon. Did not record at all coming down. Um, took me about two and a half hours to get back to here. Uh, I did stop at the river rest for a little bit, uh, but I made pretty good time. Beautiful morning. Uh, been up since about five, left camp at seven. Get back down here to the canyon floor. Wasn't even sure if I was gonna come down here today. I thought about maybe just staying up on the plateau. Um, I missed my hammock. I slept okay, but it was kind of a rough night being on the ground. But I guess that's the price you pay for sleeping in the canyon. Um, on the north side today, I'm gonna go check out this uh, area over here I saw yesterday with the, with the Pueblo. And then I'm gonna go up the north Kaibab, Kaibab a little ways and uh, check out what on the box is labeled as, no, on the map, Hey, it's a toey. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> and we go up here and check out what on the map is labeled as the box. We'll check out those Pueblos or Pueblo. And then I think there's a trail that goes up there. And we'll see. We'll see about that one. See what kind of time I have. Um, I'll have about three to four hours down here before I start heading back up. If I want to get back to camp at the same time. beautiful out. The canyon has been putting on a show for me with the weather. And I've already seen my mule deer for the day. <laughs> They're right in camp. I'm sure I'll see more. So this Pueblos or Pueblo is over here by the campground. And then Boat Beach and South Kaibab Trail are out that way. That's where I had lunch yesterday. Probably gonna go back that way. Let me go check this out over here by this Pueblo. I made it to the edge of the campground there. Now, I don't want to go through the campground, it's still kind of early. I'll check that other map, see where that Pueblo is. And I'll check it out on the way back. There's people out there packing up or whatever. Don't want to go barging past them. So there's the Pueblo ruins. I was looking in the wrong spot. I was over here. So when I come back later, I'm gonna, I'll take the Black Bridge back over and I'll check out those ruins because they're back that way but right now we're going that way hi how are you
Oh, that is Phantom Ranch. Big butte. So just coming out of Phantom Ranch and it looks like there's bungalows in there, there's a snack bar, some other stuff, lots of mules. It's gorgeous. But then there's a very poignant sign here with things to watch out for. Rock falls, high winds, and weather upstream. So that's good stuff to know on any hike when you're in a canyon like this if uh if it's snowed or it was last night or yesterday or rained or it's raining up in the north side of the north rim this creek the bright angel could swell quickly and when you're in a canyon there are not a lot of places to scramble to so always be aware So now we're heading into what on my map is labeled as the box. Yep. So 13.4 miles to the north room. I'm not going to do that. Just don't have the time, fortunately. Um, I don't think I'll make it to Ribbon Falls either. Now I'm going to go a little bit ways, a little bit ways, a little ways of that way. And then you know, I come back down. I'll head up this way. Clear Creek Trail. No camping.
I'm sorry, this video is gonna suck. No way this is coming through. That looks like it could be a mile away and be a, like a, a cliff dwelling. <laughs> Little tiny hole. I know that that probably looks tiny on the camera. Just judging from what I can see as I'm filming. That thing up there, that rock, has probably got the footprint easily of a, the size of a block, maybe a city block. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's huge. This place is a trap. I know I've got limited time and there's so much I want to see. I keep on thinking, oh, let's go around the next corner. What's up around the next corner? And you're gonna see something cool. Go, oh, I'll just go around the next corner. Maybe we won't see anything there. And there's something cool. Massive, massive rock walls.
so it's about 10.30, and I want to keep going, but I, I'll just keep on getting sucked into that trap for every turn. I figure I'm not gonna make it up to Ribbon Falls, but I don't know what this is called. That is incredible. I don't even have words for this. No words. Oh. I don't want to turn around. But if I don't, I'll be hiking out of here completely in the dark. One more turn. Let's see it's around this corner. Can, can you hear it? You hear the canyon? Come on, just a little further. It's okay, come on. Gives me a reason to come back. I'm shooting in super view right now. It's because I think it's the only way I can even begin to capture this, so. I apologize for the the, the fisheye kind of look to the video right now. I, just, I don't know how else to get all of this in frame. You could spend weeks down here. Weeks, I mean this is only one, well two trails. This is Bright Angel and the North Kaibab. This is a fraction of what's down here. Made it back down to the Clear Creek Trail. I like this little wall. It should be nice to be up in the sun. I have not seen direct sun all day. It's gonna be nice. Very bright though. But I should get a little bit of a view of the canyon from up here.
look. That's Phantom Ranch. Go up above there a little bit. That uh, that climb was kind of climby. Where does this go? Uh, hope this just goes around this butte. There's a little. Hope it goes in here. Cuts over because if it keeps going up there. Don't think I'm gonna do that. I can. I mean, I'm capable of it, but I still gotta climb 1,400 feet. Oh, bench. Nice. I still gotta climb 1,400 feet from the river bottom down there back up to the camp, and then another 3,000 feet tomorrow. So uh, let's see what this does. There's some nice views here. It's beautiful actually. Picture time. The trail goes that way. There's like a I'll shoot here. I dropped my pack back there at the bench. Cause that little trail is a little narrow, and the things touching the side with the fear heights. Not my favorite feeling in the world, but holy crap! No, I promise I'll be safe. <laughs> There's a Colorado down there. I'm pretty sure this is as high as I'm going. Um, I'll shut up for a second in this video. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'll turn this way so you can see me. This is as high as I'm gonna go. Uh, it looks like this goes all the way up the top of that butte. And uh, I don't think I have the time, and that's a lot of energy to spend knowing that I gotta climb out of here tomorrow. So all these things are just adventures for another day. I think that's called Summer Butte up there. I think that's where it goes. Oh well. Can't win them all, but definitely being able to get out of here tomorrow is a priority. I got plenty of views from down here. I'm gonna take a break for a minute. Enjoy that view at this bench. Have a snack. All right, break time is over. I'm gonna head back down to the canyon floor, back down to the river, and uh, go check out those Pueblos over there off of, um, past the Phantom Ranch and Bright Angel Park, uh, Campground. And then I'll take the, the black suspension bridge back over and then start heading back towards River Rest and then back up to Indian Garden.
don't know if that just came out. There's a hawk or kestrel or something just flying over. Maybe a falcon. It's pretty cool. So the north side, north edge of the Colorado. Look how peaceful that looks. This is Boat Beach. It is gorgeous. And that is the Black Bridge, which I'll be crossing. I can't tell. I don't know where. Looks like it goes right into the rock on that side. I don't see anything comes off there. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. And once I cross that bridge, that'll be it for the north side of the canyon for this trip. And after I go back up to camp today, I will be uh, heading back up to the south room. Kind of sad, really enjoying it. But I am enjoying it, which I'm grateful for. To be here, to be able to see it, to be able to do it. Don't ever take that for granted. If you can do stuff, don't sit around. You know, not everybody can. So if you have the ability, yeah, it's. A, a, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Seriously, when I, I say that, go outside and do something. It's almost to the bridge, and these are the Pueblo ruins. There's all kinds of information here, these little kiosks. That just came through. A little bird just buzzed my head. It went up that way. Oh wow. Maybe you want me to see that. black bridge and that does go right into a tunnel on the other side guys over to super view to get a full a full idea of this thing there we go oh, this is wood 
I'm like the other one's a metal grate. Dragger coming. I will just put the camera out here. You can look at the river for a second. That's pretty cool. Oh, mules. Make room for the mules. On we go. This is where the South Kaibab goes back up. I've taken that, well, from the rim down to Ua Point. Um, come on, you can do it. There you go. Phantom Ranch, where we just came from, and River Trail. This will take us across this ridge here and then back over to the Silver Bridge. We are up above it now. There's a little more climby than I thought it was going to be. The tunnel was worth that was awesome. That view's not bad either. There's Boat Beach, just was a little bit ago. Alright, let's 
follow this. And look at the river. This is called the River Trail. And I saw this on the map. I definitely wanted to do it connect the two bridges. Another little goal I wanted to accomplish complete it. Have my lunch, and it's time to start heading back up to Indian Garden, up to camp. It's gonna take about two hours to get back up there, but I'm just kind of getting my last look at the Colorado River. And this is gonna do it for my time on the floor of the Grand Canyon because I gotta head back out tomorrow. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of uh, me exploring the canyon floor and around. The uh, Phantom Ranch area and all that. Can't even put into words how gorgeous it is out here. This video doesn't do it justice, and I, I'm sorry. <laughs> this doesn't do it justice. Like I said earlier, if you can get out and do stuff, get out. Do it. Don't sit around. None of this is guaranteed. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. You might as well go out and adventure and explore whatever way you can. Go live life. Maybe I'll see you out here doing it. See you in the next. That'd be epic to get that entire walk. It's too far. That doesn't look steep. It's steep enough.